So we're here in Lokri. Lokri was a Greek city founded around 800 BC by Greeks from Greece, uh, from the city of Lokri. Uh, it's one of the earliest, if not the earliest, Greek city established in the area that we know as Calabria. And this settlement lasted, to, uh, this city lasted probably to about the 8th or 9th century AD, so well into Byzantine times. We're here at Archaeological Park, uh, which is part of the National Museum, and it's essentially a park that's endless. And as far as the eye can see, you can come across Greek ruin after Greek ruin after Greek ruin. And behind me is uh, an example of Aphrodite's house and the, the, I think it's Aphrodite's gate and the, um, and the lions as well. So to my right, we've got the walls of the ancient Lofty City. So not much remains of it, but there, there is enough to, to see, to give you an idea that uh, the city was quite reasonably large, all the excavations that we've come across. To my left are houses, so you can see what's, what's, what remains in the archaeological dig that we've come across. There were an abundance of, of houses. It's also, I guess, a bit of an analogy. I mean, we're looking at talking about a Greek city, a Greek city that once used to be and is no longer. Um, it comes to a point where I guess all things come to an end. Could that be the same for the Greco language? So could it be that it ends up being part of these kind of ruins, and one day we just put the language in some sort of a, an app or a museum, and, and that's the end of the, the language? And here it was a thousand years ago, was a Greco language. Or could it be that? Uh, judged by some of the greenery and the pasture and the trees and the fields, that there is a sense of rebirth, that nature comes back. And the critical language itself has that rebirth. 